Hello, everybody, and welcome to yet another UIM Progress series video thing. In the previous one, did a bunch of stuff, actually. Finally did get my glories made. I have one on me and then one mounted in my POH. Got some range levels up, and then after that, headed over to the Temporos boss and uh, ended up getting the fish barrel. So what I'm actually going to do is to see kind of how it works for a UIM. Like, will I have to die in order to get the fish out of it? Or can I use it on a bank chest or something like that? If it is absolutely just a pain in the butt and pointless for a UIM, I can exchange it, I think, for 25 soaked pages. If that's the case, it's just awful. That's what I'm going to do. There's absolutely no point in me keeping this. Okay. Okay. So it has four raw shrimps inside of the barrel. Let's go see how easy it will be to get them out. Okay. Use fish barrel on bank chest. Empty fish barrel into your inventory. Yes. Oh, so it is that easy. Okay. I guess if you want to do like fishing and then cooking training, I guess it can be worth it. But honestly, I'm just going to turn it in for soaked pages. I'm not going to waste an inventory spot for this thing that is just, for me at least, is beyond the niche. There's so many other better ways that you can do. I mean, if you want to do mess hall, if you want to do um wines if you you know there's other ways that you can train cooking on a uim that does not like handcuff you as much as what this f stinking fish barrel does what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to go to the hosidius range place so that way i can cut down on how much i burn for these uh, I also got the cooking gauntlets, which I know I think helps reduce burn rates for these two things, not the tuna and the base, though. First level of the episode is coming in here, and it is level 71 cooking. Damn, I totally missed it. Uh, I just got level 78 fishing. Cool. Totally paying attention. It's not like I have it right here on the damn screen that I can just, you know, look at it. Well, there you have it. There is 50kc at the Temporos boss. Uh, I didn't quite have as many reward permits as I did in the previous 25. I think I had 84 or something like that. But because I am itching to net the reward pool, see what we can get. I think I'm what I'm. I think what I'm actually going to do is the same as last time, where I close the game chat and I close out my inventory, and then once I have all 81 permits fished then i check to see if i got any uniques last time got the fish barrel hopefully this time i don't get that again okay just like last time check to see any pet no no pet which is unfortunate but given in 50 kc i shouldn't really expect to get it anyway go to the inventory not the fish barrel I didn't get a single unique. I did get four caskets, though. That's actually quite a bit. Holy crap. And there is level 72 cooking. Do I unlock anything at this level? This seems familiar. Uh, can I dissect sacred eels? Yes, it is very familiar. I've never fished sacred eels, but I do know that that was the level. It, it seemed like it. I totally missed it as well. It must have been when I got level 78 fishing. That I got total level of 1725 and then when I got 72 cooking that's when it pushed it to 1726 dang nabbit I am not gonna miss this fishing level that is level 79 fishing I can now catch sea turtles cool and would you look at that oh my gosh this is an absolute crap show uh, anyway, got level 80 fishing out of this this game. I think this is my like 89th game or something like that. 
Well, that last game wasn't fantastic, but I do have a total of 118 points to turn in here after uh, 89 games. Well, I guess from 50 to 89, I got 118. So just going to go ahead and do what we normally do. And not going to lie, when I was fishing from the uh, reward pool, it was like right after my XP drop, I saw the pet pop up behind me, and I think I peed a little bit. Um, but it's not my pet. Uh, you know, if I run over here, I, I don't have anything following me, so obviously I did not get the pet. See what we got in the inventory, though. Anything, anything useful? More soaked pages. Almost enough spirit flakes. I got need about. 1400 more a load of caskets though oh and i guess since i did hit level 80 fishing i'm getting raw sea turtles instead of uh raw tuna now so i don't exactly know what i'm gonna do with those i do actually really like this cycle of fishing for a little bit and then coming over here to the hosidius kitchens and cooking for a little bit longer getting a cooking level such as this one which is level 73 i can now cook dragon fruit pie i think that's the fletching one isn't it i believe it is oh shoot that was the hundredth game completed nothing exactly special comes out of that just you know 100 times i've completed games which is cool all right we got level 81 fishing coming in anything new that i can catch can i catch manta rays Ooh, that's kind of interesting anyway only one more level left to go until i can start fishing minnows so this time i even hid like pets to the ones that i have uh just to see just just to be even that much more um secretive of what I got so let's go ahead and turn off entity hider and no no pet of course not never never lucky did we get anything any uniques no never never lucky don't have too many of these done but I do have a medium reward casket I did have a hard clue scroll uh, but one of the steps, the second step, was to go into the deep wilderness, and no, I, I refuse. Anyway, let's go ahead and open up this one. Ranger boots, please. And it's not ranger boots, but I did get a boater, so that's kind of cool. Go ahead and toss that on. Look at how cool I look. I don't know exactly why I didn't upgrade this when I was upgrading this other stuff here, um, but... Here we go, there's the teak treasure chest. Go ahead and open it. Uh, and I guess I can store, uh, gotta go to medium, store that there. And all the way down here. Now if I ever want to use a boater, I can. Oh shoot, uh, there's level 75 cooking. I think I missed level 74, um, but this one is important because I believe it means that I cannot, with the cooking gauntlets at the Hosidia's house here, I'm pretty sure I can't burn bass anymore at 75. I'm pretty certain that's the level. I believe after we harvest one of these watermelons, that should be a farming level, and it most certainly is. Anything interesting unlocked? I can now grow magic trees. Ooh. And how about that there is level 82 fishing and there you go i can now fish minnows which is absolutely fantastic um i am kind of starting to get a little burnt from here um so it's good that i'm gonna be able to take a break before i get really annoyed with the boss and of course over the course of getting that last fishing level i did accumulate some reward permits 138 to be exact so this is the last chance for now uh, to get another unique so far the only unique that i've been able to get is the fish barrel which is 
still the worst one. I actually turned it in for some soaked pages, which those I don't actually know what I'm going to do unless I get the Tome of Water. Then it might be a little bit more difficult, but I probably won't. I think it's like one out of 16. Uh, so we're gonna do what we normally do and make it a little fun. And here we go, 138 points have been fished. Let's see if we get lucky. Well, actually, I guess first we will unhide uh, the pet thing. Ne never, never lucky. Um, and then inventory. We did get it. Oh. oh, and we got another fish barrel. Oh, my gosh. So we got the fish barrel and we got the tackle box. This one to me is a bit... Ooh, I'm kind of torn on this one because it is actually pretty, pretty useful because it, it can contain or hold spirit flakes and fishing bait, feathers, nets, rods, harpoons. I think it even has the angler set that you can put in here. The only issue is that it is untradeable, so I can't put it in a looting bag so it would take up a spot in the inventory I don't know if it's useful or I don't know if it's worth it um, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna think about it I'm gonna keep this for now I'm definitely gonna turn this into I think it's 25 more pages because this is just utterly useless for me this on the other hand has some kind of use it will save some inventory spaces for me especially if for some reason I'd like to want to do like beginner clues a crap ton this will be useful for me um i think there's some other stuff uh i don't know if there's other fishing steps or not but especially with the spirit flakes that's gonna be a huge deal i think they work on minnows as well i'm pretty sure they do with level 82 fishing finally achieved i can take a little bit of a break from the temporos boss i did have fun i do fully think that it is a good update for now i'm gonna keep the tackle box if it turns into more of a burden then i'm just gonna go ahead and turn it in for more soaked pages and i'm probably just gonna drop these over to the my main account along with all of this stuff here i mean i just can't be asked to keep up two spots for some turtles and some manta rays that I can't even cook for who knows how long. But there is still one order of business left to do for this video. That is to get the full angler set, recolor it, and then I will officially be able to fish minnows. Holy shit, they do exist. Oh my word. I think that was my... One second, I have to check. That was my 53rd game of Fishing Trawler. Holy sweet lord, I'm very happy to finally be done with this stupid mini game. I hate this place. Goodbye, I will never be back again. So this person here should be able to recolor my angler set. Oh, okay. So just go ahead and space bar through all of it. And there we go. All four pieces are now done. And there we have it. It looks fantastic with my stupid purple hair that I have. And there is yet another cooking level. Getting ever so close to getting that uh, level 80 cooking, I believe it is, before I can start cooking sharks. And with this fish here, that is going to bring about the final cooking level of the video. And that is going to be level 77. I don't know. Is there anything special? Of course not. There is never anything special. Not exactly sure if this is going to be a runecrafting level or not, but I haven't done Tears of Gothics in quite some time. But there we go. It actually was a level. That is level 45 runecraft. I have been close to a woodcutting level for quite some time now, and it's honestly been bothering me. So to remedy that, I figured I should just quit, come, and get the level. So there's level 78 woodcutting. The other nifty thing about having the tackle box is the feathers that I get from doing birdhouse runs. I usually would just drop them, but now 
I can store them. And I can also store the diving apparatus and the fishbowl helmet, as well as the Rada's Blessing, and of course the whole angler set. So whenever I want to just go and fish, I just fish. But I feel like that should be a good spot to end the video for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I had loads of fun this one getting the Spirit Angler set and just doing Temporos uh, to get to level 82 fishing. But thank you all so much for watching and I will see all of you in the next one.